Hi, this is Cheryl. I'm here with our Squedge 15 tool. You'll know that tool if you're familiar with the court jester pattern or the calliope. We have a topper on the front and a runner on the back. Or our latest, the spiky. What these patterns all have in common is that they're squares. And that's what a squedge is. It's a squedge that makes a square. But can it make any other shapes? Yes, it can. It can make equilateral triangles, which build to make hexagons. Our sea glass, as you see back here, is made in that way. It's made up of triangles, and together, joined together, you have a giant hexagon. Rather than starting with this project, I'm going to show you something simpler. This table runner pattern is um, available for you to download on our website. Um, it is made also with the Squedge 15, and I would like to show you how to make the, the hexagon. So let's get started. Cut one strip of four colors, A, B, C, and D. Open those up and place strips A and D together, right sides facing. That's very important. Next, place the middle slot line of the squedge right on the edge of those two strips. And when you cut, you get two. If you flip that second piece over, can you see you've got the mirror image? Okay, we're going to do the same thing with fabrics B and C. Also, important to put the wrong sides together, and this time we're going to use the top slot lines on our squedge and put those right on the fabric edge. Cut two and flip that second one over and again you have mirror image pieces. Here's the four squedge pieces you need to make the triangle. If you just butt these two together you're going to think they don't match but when you put them right sides together you'll see that little tiny tip sticking down there. It's exactly a quarter of an inch right where your seam line will be. And when you open it you're going to have a straight edge on the bottom. Now sew the four together, press them, and now trim. To do this, we'll use, I use an eight and a half inch square. I put the seven inch line on the bottom and then trim off that little curved tip. And now we're ready for a tip for our triangle. We have a great companion for our 15 degree squedge, and that's the spot on tool. And by itself, it also does some wonderful things. Okay, what we'll do with our spot on tool is there's a line on there that you're going to place on the edge of your two and a half inch wide strip and you're going to cut a triangle tipper. This tipper goes on top of those squedge pieces. So you'll flip it down and center it and sew it, press it, and now you're going to trim it again with the same spot on tool. And here it is, the equilateral triangle. This is the building block for your holiday runner. It's pretty easy, huh? Well, that triangle is also the basis for your sea glass project that we showed you in the beginning. It's the same basic four squedge unit, but just different fabrics. You'll make more of them, arrange them into a larger triangle, and then sew that into halves, then into a hole, and there you have it. It doesn't seem so hard now, does it? But back to our holiday runner. You're going to make six units, just like that. Lay them out, sew them into pairs, press. Now you're going to add the third to make a half. And then the two halves make a whole block. Sew your blocks together, and here's your runner top. Next, we just layer that with backing and batting. Quilt it, add your binding, and so there you have it the Holiday Hexagon Runner. I chose to use country colors this year uh, for Thanksgiving. I, I can imagine doing it in Christmas or any season, anything to match your decor. It's just a fun, quick project. Uh, you can download the instructions for this on our website, phillipsfiberart.com, and I hope to see you there. Thank you, and God bless. Thanks, Carla.